Hey everyone, today we're going to study another small topic, Listeria. This is important, especially when it comes to the differential diagnosis of neonatal meningitis. It has a characteristic feature of tumbling motility, especially in culture broth. It is a cocobacilli, which means it is a short, stout rod. It is purple in color, meaning gram positive. It is a non-capsulated and non-sporing organism. It is a facultative intracellular organism. Because it's inside the cell means that it escapes our body's normal defense mechanisms. It travels from cell to cell by direct transfer due to host cell actin polymerization. It's like the Listeria is riding an actin surfboard. The only species known to cause disease in humans is that of L. monocytogenes. This infection can be transmitted through animals, food or milk that is contaminated with the bacteria. It is important to remember that Listeria is not affected by cold. It can easily survive in the refrigerator. This is why pregnant women are advised to always heat cold foods such as salads, meats and sandwiches before consumption. People who work in close contact with animals such as butchers, vets and poultry farmers are more susceptible to cutaneous infection. In adults, it usually causes gastroenteritis, a combination of diarrhea, vomiting, stomach pain, fever and nausea. However, it can also cause meningitis, brain and spinal abscesses and septicemia, especially in immunocompromised individuals. Listeria causes neonatal infection, which can be of two different types, early and late. Early infection is transmitted vertically, that is, from the mother to the fetus. It can be transplacental or transmitted during delivery by contact with genital flora. Late infection is hospital-acquired or environment-acquired. Both types of infection are characterized by meningitis. However, early infection is accompanied by sepsis. This condition is called granulomatosis and fantiseptism. This condition is very often fatal. The late infection usually occurs two to three weeks after birth and is easily treated with penicillin. For the laboratory diagnosis, CSF and blood samples can be used. On gram staining, purple cocobacilli are easily visualized. Listeria is cultured on blood agar. A narrow zone of beta hemolysis is seen around the colonies. This is due to the production of Listerolysin O. For the treatment of Listeria infection, penicillin is the drug of choice. It is used in combination with gentamicin in immunocompromised individuals. An alternative for those allergic to penicillin is cotrimoxazole. I hope this video helps you remember everything important about Listeria. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.